Now for more on one particular industry that is very eager to open, we go now to our Pam Seidel. Pam. And Cynthia, there was some positive news from the provincial government on that front about the reopening of garden centres and nurseries like this one, Fiesta Gardens, which is near Christie and Bloor. Now, while the Premier did not announce anything specific, he did suggest that they will be able to reopen soon, which will be a crucial step for an industry that banks most of its business on this very small spring window. Nothing is better, you know, than, than going to the garden centre grabbing some plants, going in the backyard and, and planting the, the flowers. It's a, I said the same thing at Cabinet. It's, it's good for mental health. It gets people outside. We need to get going. So just stay tuned. Uh, good news is coming for the garden centres. An announcement has been expected for some time to give Ontario's growers and garden centres and nurseries a chance to recoup major losses they've suffered already. This picture is of Easter flowers from Niagara that had to be dumped because they couldn't be sold. So for industry insiders, it's a bit disappointing that Premier Ford hasn't yet pulled the trigger, but it's a step in the right direction. Pam, this is a vital time for garden centres. They do 80% of their sales six weeks of business. Their biggest weekends, of course, Mother's Day, and the long weekend. If they don't get these sales, those plants are going to go to the compost pile. Our Frank Ferragini is not only Breakfast Television's resident gardener and owner of a large garden centre, Bradford Greenhouses, he's also a spokesperson for Landscape Ontario, the trade association representing the industry. He says this is an $8 billion industry, and he's been working with the Ontario government to come up with a plan to reopen these businesses, many of which are small and family-owned. Right now, there's about $450 million worth of plants waiting for the spring season. And really, where are people going to get their plants safely? And will these greenhouse growers have access to market? During the Easter season, millions of dollars of plants have already been lost. And those guys there really didn't have a home. Some garden centres have been open for online sales and curbside pickup, including Fiesta Gardens, which has managed to keep afloat. But normally, this store would be overflowing with product. It would make a huge difference to be open again. We would have all our trees and shrubs in there. We would have all our perennials probably in by now. Um, all your early season annuals would be all nicely set up in, in containers and everything. Um, so yeah, it's a little unfortunate that, that it's not happening right now. Dino Vergona agrees with the Premier that opening gardening centres would not only help these businesses, many of which are on the edge of collapse, but gardening as an activity is a wonderful way to enjoy the outdoors and can be important to mental health in these stressful times. Gardening is therapeutic. It's what people need at this moment. They need a purpose. They need something to do. And growers have grown for the season. Plants are not like tires. They can't go on a shelf. They're really a perishable item. Now, Frank Ferragini also feels like it's unfair that large companies like Loblaws and Walmart, who, because they sell food, are also able to sell plants and flowers. And for them, that's just a side interest. But for many of these smaller stores, that's their bread and butter. And they feel like if they can't reopen soon, they will not survive.